Can I help you there? Sure. Those are supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. Everybody and everywhere there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers! All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. The fellow over there will run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Adelante. Whoa. Ah. Passing you. OK. See the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment 
with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Look, head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Staples just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. All right, let's hitch up here. do the talking. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's... There you go, boy. Uh -huh. Great. <laughs> okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. 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 Now, Easy. You're okay. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa, now. Easy. Easy. <laughs> This way. Come on. There, boy. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we we'll regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell did you do? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said... These men! Stop! What are you doing, Arthur? Let's stay together. Let's go! <laughs>
see any more of them? No? Don't think so. All right, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove quick before we run into any more trouble. Whoa! You okay there, boy? You've done good, girl. Shit! One of the stallions is loose! Keep going! I'll get him! Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come on now. You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. Boys want. Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was going to be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. He's a, a seer. 
He sees things that we don't know yet. I know, I'm just teasing. You're just afraid of opening your mind because you might not like what you find. You're probably right. You know, you know, you always had the most incredible way of putting things. Mr. Miller has a way of putting things. Me, I'm, I'm just an old outlaw, not prepared to go quietly. Oh, you're more than that, Dutch. You're, you're... Good morning, Arthur. Well, you're amazing. Are you well, Mr. Morgan? Well, I'm alive, Miss Grimshaw. These girls, Mr. Morgan, they're driving me to despair. Why? No gratitude and no manners. This younger generation, it saddens me. The world is ruined. Don't forget to go hunting, Mr. Morgan. All right, Pearson. All right, let's see what we got. Fine, but make sure you get a good price Thank for it. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, Arthur? You want to talk? Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. You're up, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike could put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. Well, there's always that. Morning, Arthur. So, what's for dinner? Dysentery again? Hey, come on now. Hey, little fella. What you up to? Uh, nothing. How'd you like to earn a dollar? A dollar? Sure. Well... Go up to old Arthur Morgan, ask him about the pole he's got stuck up his ass, I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. Shut your mouth for five minutes. It's so touchy, Morgan. Stop being an idiot.
Arthur. Arthur, how you been? I've been real worried. What do you want? Don't be like that. Uh, you know, just a, just a few bucks. And I'm short. Get lost. <sighs> yeah, yeah. You can spare me the details. You're missing out. How many times you pissed yourself today? Well, ain't that charming? Morning, mister. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Arthur! Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. A what? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Well, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about around here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Ah, I see. Make the introductions, Arthur. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, Alden. 
Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Okay, let's go. This way. <laughs> what did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. A pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Fine day to you. spot. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once.
I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. No, 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 no. a small show, but would you sing something for me? I, I'm looking for a mezzo soprano. Well, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Mrs. Damson, magnifico. So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's only good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. 